Today on 5 Minute Tones, we're going to play around with the deluxe tweed model in the Axe FX3. I'm playing a Telecaster with some Jason Lola vintage style Telecaster pickups and a Fender 4-way switch. The 4-way switch gives you an extra mode of combining the two Tele pickups in series, which gives you just like a little bit more meat, more of a humbuckery kind of sound. But I'm going to stay away from that one. I'll mostly be playing on the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. The IR that I'm using is from the York Audio Deluxe Reverb Cab Pack. It's a blend between a Sennheiser 906 and a KSM 313 microphone. At the stock settings on the bridge pickup with everything up full, it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, I love this amp because it sounds so snarly and gross. It's almost like this kind of, you know, the sound when you blow your nose. That's what the low end's doing on this. So it's a really simple amp, one single tone control. I like to turn that up to about seven and I'll turn the input drive down just the tiniest amount and it gives you this. <laughs> So I like that one a lot. What I like to do with sounds like this is add some of the room parameter in the cab block. It sounds like this. So it's great for bluesy stuff. To me, it's kind of, like I said, it's got that ZZ Top kind of thing going on and it's a great pedal platform. So what I would do is chuck a drive pedal in front of this. Uh, let's start with, uh, let's try a treble booster. That is a little bit too bright. Let's go with the uh, Tone of Kings drive and we'll just turn the drive and the level up. We get this. This one's really addictive to play with as well. Uh, on top of that, uh, you could go and add like a slapback delay in between the drive and the amp for that kind of authentic tape kind of thing. We'll just go with a mono tape and I'll keep the mix nice and low with that one. I'll set the time to about 300. Well, good about, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> gives you that late 60s, early 70s blues rock thing in absolute spades. So to me, the thing about this amp is, yeah, it sounds nasty and it's got that kind of snarl and it's a bit flubby in the low end, but that's the thing that really separates good amp modeling from average amp modeling. Uh, you know, I've tried a few plugins recently where the mid gain tones, they just have this harshness that's impossible to dial out. Whereas I find on the Axe FX3 and especially this Tweed Deluxe, it's got that snarl that a real amp would have but it's never 
overtly harsh. You know, it, it sounds like a microphone on an amplifier in a room, which it should. So that is a really quick and nasty look at the deluxe tweed. Basically, just turn these knobs to suit your guitar. If you've got a really dark guitar, turn the tone up. For example, if I play on this humbucker combination, uh, position four, I'd turn the tone right up and I'd actually turn the drive down a little bit. And uh, if you had a really bright strat, do the opposite, turn the drive up and turn the tone down. <laughs> Thank you.